Hi cuties! So, you might be noticing something different about this video. Yes, we're in the living room. And I have a special guest! <laughs> you may have seen her from my videos when I was in Japan. Would you like to introduce yourself? Okay. Shokai. I'm Tomoko. I'm from Japan. Yay! So today we are going to be asking Tomoko some questions. You have all submitted some questions that, you know, sometimes you don't feel comfortable directly asking a Japanese person. And you can ask me these questions, but I have limited exposure. I only know so much and I'm kind of biased to some things. So to give you the down low on what's really going on, Tomoko is here. Are you ready for your first question? Alright. What are some common breakfast, lunch, and dinner foods in Japan? <laughs> That's kind of difficult. I'm like myself. Mm -hmm. I usually eat rice and sometimes egg. Okay. Raw um, egg or cooked egg? Raw. Raw egg. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And a little bit so soy sauce. Soy sauce, okay. It's delicious. Do you ever put natto in it? Uh-uh. Because I know sometimes people do not yeah, put egg and, and rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For lunch, well, I'm working right now, so yeah. I always go to Family Mart. Family Mart! <laughs> so dinner! Well, like, sometimes I go to, like, uh, go to Izakaya. Izakaya. With some co-workers mm -hmm. and stuff. Other than that, I usually cook. That's kind of my personal. <laughs> That's your personal. That works. <laughs> that works. Well, some people do different yeah. things, so don't believe me. Believe her. <laughs> Everything she says is the law. That's how it's done. Are Japanese schools tougher than American schools? I don't know. <laughs> uh, like junior high or high school students have to uh, take Entrance exam. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one. We have to study like for a year or a yeah, a long year. time. I think that's what's probably the toughest. What's tougher is the exam studying. Mm -hmm. But I think like school life is a lot easier in Japan. Oh yeah, than the yeah. U.S. Mm -hmm. I think so. Any rules that schools in Japan have that America probably doesn't? Yeah, we have uniforms. Yeah. And it's like there is a rule, like uh, we can't change the way we wear. Mm. You know? Like, um, but people do. Yeah. Like sh shorter, shorter guys, skirts shorter or the way they skin. wear their socks yeah. and. And so. the tie their the bows. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the girls when I was teaching got mm. in trouble for how they were tying their yeah. bows. It wasn't right, or how they even um, had braids in their hair because it was too fashionable. Yeah, we can't change colors. Yeah, so this this is way out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard that uh, here, mm -hmm. many students commute by car. Yeah, in high school. Yeah, yeah, they drive yeah. themselves. We don't because yeah. we can't have license till like eighteen. Oh. Are there any books by an underrated author you recommend? What do you mean? Like, like okay, you know, what are some famous Japanese authors? Mm -hmm. Someone who's not as well known. Uh, maybe you, uh, the the mm. uh, person know Murakami Haruki. Yeah, I think they actually yeah. they wrote that in their original yeah. content. But uh, other than that, I'm not really sure. I don't read that much. I I read, but yeah. like I don't remember the author. Mm. I will get back to you. We'll get back to you on that. One. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll talk about it, and then I will put a screen up that says some names of books and authors right now. What does a Japanese person really think of a foreigner with tattoos? With tattoos? Mm. Oh. In Japan, um, people who's wearing tattoos can't go to hot spring. Yeah. Because it's kind of like scary looking. Because mm. it, uh, it was considered like as 
Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. The kind mafia. Of. But now it's your part of mafia. Yeah, changing. Like some people wear them like yeah. fashion. It's much yeah, it's much more common to see them now, mm -hmm. I think. It's a rule, so yeah. we, we can't change it uh, like easily. So. Yeah. Be sure, like when you Cover want up. to go to hot spring, maybe band aid. Yeah, yeah. Put a band aid over it. <laughs> yeah. Put lots of band aids if you got a big one. Wear a sleeve of band aids. No one will notice. It's totally fine. So, what do you think of someone with with tattoos? I like if it's part of like it's if it's small. Mm -hmm. I don't care that much. Mm -hmm. But if it's all over. <laughs> Covering their back. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's actually it looks scary. Last question. Awesome. Are you ready for this? Hmm. How many Japanese people actually pay the NHK fee? <laughs> do you pay your NHK fee? Yeah, I do. She does. I do. Cause she, um, like when I moved in, mm -hmm. yeah, she knows the 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 N NHK. People. I don't oh. know how she knew I moved in on that day, but she was there. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you think everybody pays? Do you think a lot of people pay? I'm not sure. I yeah. got out of it. Yeah? Yeah, I pretended I didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> Some people say, like, oh, I don't have TV. Yeah, that's why I did. <laughs> like, oh, do you have TV? No. <laughs> the TV's on right now. No, I don't have a TV. <laughs> it's my computer. I, I heard so. But, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it is said that, like, uh, statistically, 50%? Mm -hmm. 50%? Maybe, yeah. Half it's of Japanese people like pay their NHK fee. Yeah. How much does it cost? It's not that much, like, 50%. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not that bad. If you have further questions for Tomiko or for myself, leave them in the comments below or on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. And I'll see you next time, cuties. Bye! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>